in Jamaica or in the yeah, U.S.? In Jamaica. In Jamaica. Where well, which? Most of the time, Caribbean and Europe, you know, for the oh, past yeah. three years now, Caribbean and Europe. We haven't been to US in quite a while. Right. Yeah. Because I was married and, you know, the immigration issues where one status, you only can have one status. So we're working on the paperwork right now. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you are performing in Europe too? Yeah, but I don't know. Okay. Well, that's good. We send it to Antigua. St. Lucia, that are the last, that's the last two islands we did before coming to Barbados. Antigua, St. Lucia. Right? Guyana. Guyana, Guyana. Guyana yeah. Grenada, yeah. Grenada. Come on. Antigua. Antigua. The good thing about Jamaican artists is that I find that they, when they come here, they bring the up and coming artists with them, which is not something that, other than Richard Stout Show here, or maybe Carol some Stoke other things. It's not something that It's not as common. Mm -hmm. So, you know, whenever you want to go show, I would have seen that bring first time I saw Turbulence. Oh, he was performing with um, Sizzler a long time yeah. ago. And some of those other artists. So, it's good that's a positive start. Oh, he did? Okay. Never knew that at all. But it says it's been out for a while. We had that yeah. song way back when I had just left university, so, you know. So you all have an awesome responsibility because the young people listen to you. Right. So you just make sure that you promote the positive messages along with the other stuff. You know, get it over to them. <laughs> You'll have a little excitement in between. <laughs> For me, you know, it's, yeah, exactly. That's the point. Prime Minister, so. I would just say, as far as that way, I admire about him is how he's been able to create a brand. That's something that I find that a lot of our RPs here you know, who do think about that aspect. That he has his well, that's very mind. important because, I mean, there obviously are people who otherwise would not be interested in any Jamaican product, but who may be interested in your music and who because. To Jamaica, other countries have used uh, personalities to promote themselves a lot more. We are only now starting to do that in the Caribbean. You know what I mean? So, and that's a positive development. I mean, that's what what the world is about now: creating a brand and marketing it. It means you should make mon money forever, <laughs> Hopefully. or as long as you live. Yeah, you know, and it's it's good to have. Uh, Caribbean brands mm -hmm. marketed throughout the world. It's Definitely. Important. Yeah, man. It's yeah. good. Because actually, this is now being distributed in Guyana also, and we're trying to get it, hopefully, in the rest of the Caribbean. Yeah, and it's also in Canada. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's in Antigua, too, right? And it's in Antigua, yeah. So we're just doing stuff and just working on the positiveness, merchandising, I mean, and keeping the music up and running. Right. Mm -hmm. the concept of Hmm? How did you decide what product to carry your brand on? I mean, okay, so many yeah, because that's what I told you before. Why, why, when he told me that the Prime Minister had this campaign about AIDS, AIDS HIV, I felt so good because we could have chosen any other product. We could have done t-shirts, right. we could have done shoes, we could have done pants. I mean, but we did condoms. So, you know what I mean? It's profitable and it also um, paying back to society because, you know, too much is given, much is expected. So, why I've started, that is a support my employer way of just giving back. Pardon me? The rum, the rum. Oh, the rum. Well, you don't know. We have to get into because dance hall and Caribbean people support a lot of alcohol. But a lot of the alcohol we support, all of the revenues from it goes right back to Europe. Because if it's not champagne or cognac, you know what I mean? Yes. So we just decided to do our own local brand of, of, of alcohol and spread it through the Caribbean. You know what I mean? And just keep the thing Caribbean oriented. For Caribbean, by Caribbean. You know what I mean? Straight. What you have to do is get the people who sell our products in the Caribbean, like Mount Gay and Jamaican rum, to, to push them. Because very often, if you go through airports and so on in the region, they push the Hennessy, they push uh, um, Absolute and other brands, but they don't push the very product that we make. You know, and, 
And uh, when you go to countries like Cuba and so on, they push their product. They make cigars, they push cigars. They make rum, they, they push rum. So, you know, that's really what we need to do uh, more of. It's very, very important, you know, so. But that's good. So I'm glad the show went well. It's always a pleasure to be here in Barbados, always. More even bigger pleasure meeting the Prime Minister. This is the biggest pleasure. Yeah, straight up. Okay. Yeah, man. That's good to hear. Great, great, great. So. So good luck with everything. Change and create some jobs and that kind of thing. That's yeah. That's what we can. Like a world recession. Exactly. And you know the Caribbean, we're right there in America, so we're going to feel the bad for it. Yeah. In the street, some people say you're the poor people. Don't <laughs> so yeah, right. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right, right. Okay. Yeah. Let me just advise before we move. Let me again. Yes, that was the evening when we were as Prime Minister. So, much love to the people of Bobby, the Squires, and the right. It's a pleasure being here all the time. That's from the end. Up to the time. Okay, how's it ready? Asians, okay. play safe, love life. Oh. Give me that look closer there because I ain't got a camera. Right. So say that again, please. Barbados, stay safe, love life, protect yourself, know your status. Oh. All right.